I am excited today to be able to share with you my favourite journaling top tip because this is something that I've been doing for a little while and I thought I'd share it with all of you because it is so simple. You can now make clear stickers and ephemera and washi out of your own stamps, your own hand-drawn images and I've even got a free download for you to use as well if you don't feel like creating your own design. You'll find the link to the free PDF download in the description below and you'll also find links to anything else I'm using including the material that you're going to need to make these stickers come to life. So join me as I walk you through the best do's and don'ts of this technique and we're going to be creating an art journal page as we go. So when I'm doing my art journaling or any mixed media piece or I might be creating a card that's got lots of dimension and layers on it, very often I want to stamp something in the background but I've got too many layers and I can't get my stamp in there. Or I have an afterthought and I think, oh I really wish I'd put that in the background already. This is where clear stickers comes in absolutely perfectly. You're going to be able to add detail to your designs and we're going to create a brand new art journal page just here to show you how to do that. Now I have got this as the free download for you because there's lots of designs here, a bit of a mix of themes. You can print this off at home onto the specialty paper that I'm using throughout this entire video and this is clear printable sticker paper. Yeah, clear printable sticker paper you will find it on Amazon as I say the link is down below to the UK Amazon site I'd imagine you'll find lots of different versions of it as well I've gone for the cheapest just to try it out and it works absolutely perfectly so you simply use your usual inkjet printer at home to print onto the paper making sure that you've got don't do as I did I printed on the wrong side making sure you've got the glossy side up and these are dry instantly you can cut around them and they are clear. Now not only can you print off the design that I've given you, you can also be using your stamps to create your own images as well. So maybe you've got my watercolour splash half tone stamp but you're actually quite scared to put it directly into the background without knowing exactly where it's going to go or how it's going to look when it's down. Why not try stamping this onto a piece of paper first in colour if you wish scanning it in your printer and then you can print them out onto the clear sticker paper. The results are absolutely beautiful, so perfect for art journaling and mixed media projects. And you can also scan things like postage stamps, your own ephemera or even your hand lettering and print that off onto the clear sticker paper too. So once I've printed my designs out onto my paper, I like to just cut into it as close as possible to the edge. Now you don't have to go close to the edge, but this is definitely my preference because you see less of it. This one in particular, as I say, this was the least expensive one that I could find over on Amazon. This one actually has a glossy finish, which is okay, um, but I should imagine you can probably find matte finish um, sticker paper as well so maybe have a look for those if you're not so keen on the glossy finish but I cut each of the designs out as close to the edge as possible still leaving the backing on for now and you can do this in advance so that they're ready for your projects in future so rather than using my stamps directly into my art journal and it may be that you don't work in an art journal that has paper that will hold mediums very well. These are perfect for not having to add a huge amount of water or liquid to your pages. And look at that, perfectly clear edges and I've got my watercolour splat on there. I'm going to also overlay these too. So I'm just peeling off the backing and to be honest the hardest part of using these is probably just finding where the uh, backing pit can peel away, um, much like any sort of tape. And I'm just going to lay these over and look at that lovely colour we've got where the green and the yellow have overlapped. It's absolutely perfect. So now I've got my watercolour splodge on there. I can go in with, for example, I'm going to use some texture paste in the same way as I would if I was working on any sort of watercolour background. As you can see, my stenciling, my paste there, this is the grit paste in Snowfall from uh, Ranger that has just laid perfectly over those. So this dragonfly that I'm going to be using is from the Grungy Dragonfly and a Brick Wall stamp set. This is part of the Textures Wings and Things collection that's just recently launched, so I'll make sure that's linked down below for you. 
So I've added some white embossing powder to my grip paste and lightly heated it to set it and it didn't affect the sticker paper at all which is really brilliant. Now I want to add some more detail over the top and I'm going to come to the sheet that is free for you to download as well. I think I'm going to add some florals in here, maybe some foliage as well and that's all going to be stemming from where the uh, dragonfly is. So I'm going to first of all create a tag or just a base for the dragonfly to sit on and everything will be coming out of that. So I've created a tag from a piece of pattern paper, I've stitched around the edge, added a metal embellishment on top and popped my stamped dragonfly on top of that. So for now that is going to be my topper going over the coloured watercolour splashes. So now I need to add some background detail. I think I'm going to go with, rather than the florals, which are absolutely beautiful, but I think I'm going to go with the leaves. There's three of these, so I can stagger them coming out at different angles. So I'm going to cut these out with my scissors, and my favourite scissors for this are my Fiskars embroidery scissors. They are super sharp with a really, really sharp point as well, so I can get into the detail. So I've cut out a number of these pieces now that I want to use or I'm most likely to use and wherever my tag sits I'm going to just draw a pencil line around just inside so that I've got an idea of where this falls. Obviously I need to press a little bit harder where it falls on the sticker sheet that's under there. This just gives me a rough idea so now I can see that this area here doesn't need to have any sticker on. And from here I'm going to start building up. Now first I'm going to start with smudges and splats. They'll be uh, in the background. So I've got these brush strokes. So just peeling the backing off. I'm going to put these so they kind of come just out of the edge of the tag like so. So very subtle. This one's a little bit uh, wider. Then I'm going to come in with some florals. Now I already know that this particular floral, I'd like to have this so that it also goes on top of the tag. So I'll pop the underneath there and this top uh, leaf or, yeah, I suppose it's a leaf, will come over the top of my tag. So I'm going to just leave that one out for now. But the other two are going to go at the top here and at the side so I can put these two on. As you can see, once you lay that down, you can see all the colour underneath. It's beautiful. It's just as if an image has been stamped over the top. And this is, of course, not just for art journaling. This is going to be perfect for things like your card making and your scrapbooking as well. Now those elements are down, I'm going to put my tag down so that I can start putting everything else around it. If, like me, you've cut your images very, very close to the edge, you want to be really careful when you're peeling off the backing because the uh, plastic sheeting on top could be quite fragile. So I want this leaf design to fall over the top of the tag and tuck underneath. Now I've got lots of extra bits as well. I've actually printed off the stamps that I created on the coloured version right at the beginning. So I've got the red one and a purple one. These are going to be absolutely beautiful because they're just a little bit of colour there and they don't have the white backing so they're actually where the white would be they would be clear and I've got lots of background and distress detail these are from that downloadable sheet that you can download and print off at home there I'm just putting that over the texture paste and it just lays perfectly over the top the same down here because I like to echo any designs that I've got over to the other side of my page and I can also put elements going from over the edge of the tag onto the page without any worry about that little lip that we're going over. So there is my art journal page quickly done using my very own stickers. Don't forget you can print these at home. The link is down in the description below. And if you enjoy videos like this, I think you're also going to really like this mixed media video just here. And if you did like this, please do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thank you everybody, take care and I'll see you again very soon.